Hi there, I'm Luke Moen of Good Working Channel and you're watching a video series about Java programming. In the previous videos, we have some of the important foundations of Java programming, including array manipulations, advanced input and output, object-oriented programming, at iba pa. At in this video, we have one of the important implementations of Java programming in industry applications, which is Spring Boot, an open-source server-side application using Java. Hi there, welcome back to our video series about Java programming. So after learning the foundations of Java, so you want to learn one of the implementations of Java in industry applications. So one of it is ang Spring Boot. So ano ba ang Spring Boot? Ang Spring Boot is a standalone web application or server-side application using Java. So let us now begin to so one of the things that uh, we want to do is to set up our development environment. So what you want to do is to install the extension that you need, which is a Spring Initializer Java support, which is an extension on Visual Studio Code. This will help you generate a Spring Boot project in Visual Studio Code from scratch. So once you install it, you're good to go. So let's create a new project. So press mo lang Ctrl Shift T, tapos select mo ang Create Java Project. Yan. So from here, sa selection nato, select natin ang Spring Boot. So marami ka pang option dito, but for this demonstration, pipili natin ang Spring Boot. Yan. Then, uh, papilin ka niya saan yung dependency manager mo. It's either Gradle or uh, Maven. Okay? Yung Gradle is a project manager then, uh, which is one of the uh, famous then. But for this uh, demonstration, gagamitin natin is ang Maven project. Yeah. Then, papilin ka niya kung anong version ng Spring Boot gagamitin mo. So, pwede mo gamitin yung latest one or pwede mo gamitin yung stable one. So, gamitin lang natin is yung stable one, 2.7. And then, papapiling ka niya kung anong programming language, Java, Kotlin, or Groovy. So, in this case, gagamitin natin yung Java. By the way, ang Kotlin at Java is uh, based from Java. Then. So, pipili natin is ang Java programming language here. Then, uh, ask kanya kung ano yung uh, magiging package name ng uh, project mo. So, lagyan natin ng com as uh, best practice component. Then, lagyan natin ng anong pangalan. Let's say game that scoring system. For example, yan. Then, enter lang. Tapos, ano yung magiging uh, artifact ID. So, yan yung magiging file name ng project mo. Kung ano yung magiging output niya. Ayan. So, let's just sabihin natin a game scoring system. Ayan. Tapos, enter mo lang. Tapos, ano yung output? Jar or war. So, yung war kung gusto mo siya i-deploy sa existing na tomcat or gusto mo jar kung gusto mo stand alone. Ayan. So, enter mo lang jar. Tapos, papiling ka niya kung ano yung Java version. So, depende kung anong naka-install sa'yo na Java version. So, in my case, ang naka-install is ang Java 11. Yan. So, enter ko. Then, papiling ka niya here kung ano yung mga dependency na ilalagay mo sa Spring Boot. So, marami kang pwede install here. So, for this demonstration, ang gagamitin natin is ang Spring Web which includes yung sa Spring application using MVC na pattern. Yan. So, click natin yan. Tapos, enter lang. Tapos, that will create. So, pa... Browse ka niya kung saan mo gusto i-save yung project mo. So, gawa ko ng folder na kung saan ko gusto i-save. It's a game scoring. So, after that, mag-download siya ng zip file and then uh, you can uh, open it. Yan. Okay, so ngayon, naka-open na tayo sa Java project natin. So, let us explore ano yung laman ng directory. So, one of the things na mapapansin natin dito is itong pom.xml. Pom.xml kasi ang pinili natin na type of project is Maven project. So, ang Maven, ang ginagamit niya na settings, uh, na file, is ang pom.xml. So, dito niya dinidefine lahat ng uh, about doon sa project. Mo. So, ano yung mga dependency so ang nakalagay dito ang yung parent so all the things na nakalagay doon sa 
sa include natin na dependency itong spring boot starter parent uh, is may include siya doon automatically so you don't have to uh, program everything from scratch kasi meron kang baseline so lahat is naka inherit siya doon so uh, nakalagay dito yung group ID which is yung select natin tapos ano yung magiging artifact uh, ano yung magiging artifact ID natin so yung magiging file name ng jar file natin is yan siya tapos ano yung version so you can change this anytime for example ito snapshot contemporary tapos kapag mo final na you can just uh, change it to something else tapos description ng project mo you can change it there tapos ano yung selected mo na java version so kung nagkamali ka kanina you can uh, always change it from here yan tapos nakalagay din dito yung uh, list of dependencies so may pinili tayo kanina ang starter web So, uh, ito, nakalagay siya dito. And by default, this linalagyan na dito ng uh, Spring Boot Starter Test. Kasi lahat ng mga component mo, gusto mo lagyan ng unit test. And then, uh, during building, so merong dependency, uh, which is ang Spring Boot na uh, dependency. Yan, ito. So, itong plugin na to So, ginagamit niyan during building. So, yun lang kailangan. So, pwede mo niyan gamitin. But, as of now, kung explore natin yung source code, uh, makikita natin dito sa folder structure here. So, yung nilagyan natin na package is yun din yung support niya. So, by in Java kasi, once nilalagyan mo yung isang source code sa isang package, is if I follow din yan in directory structure. Yan. Okay? So, example here, ito yung uh, package natin, sabi natin com game scoring system yan yung, yan yung artifact ID natin, then yan din yung magiging uh, class name natin so, pareho dapat yung uh, file name sa uh, class name, then uh, makikita natin yung entry point here itong public static void main then, tinatawag lang niya dito is yung sa spring boot applic spring application uh, that run passing the the class name of our uh, class. Yan. So, pa yan lang yung kailangan para tumakbo siya. But as of now, uh, pretty much empty. Uh, wala pang laman. So, tatakbo yan pero wala pa siya mabigay ng mga resources. Okay? So, yan. So, blanco pa. So, yung mga configurations ng application mo, you can put it here. Dito sa application properties. Yung mga variables, mga environment variables, pwede mo ilagay dito sa uh, application properties mo. Then, yung unit test, you can visit it here. Pwede mo siya i-check dito. Tapos, yung output ng project mo, dito yan papasok sa target. So, yung mga classes, pag na-build mo siya, dito yan siya papasok. So, mapapansin mo of the same package name, dyan dyan pupunta. Then, you can just play. Uh, play around here. Okay, since empty pa yung project natin, so first thing that we want to do is mag-create tayo ng controller as the entry point from the web application. So, uh, if you go here sa Java project, pwede dito ka rin mag-create ng, uh, ng class natin or ng controller natin. So, you can just uh, click itong new Java class. Yan, yung plus button. Or pwede yung uh, sa previous na ginagawa natin pag-create ng class. Then, lagyan mo lang dyan ng Uh, class name, let's say, sabihin natin game controller, yan, pwede yan na class name, tapos i-create niya yan under dun, so magka, magkapatid sila nung sa application so yan yung magiging class name niya okay, so one of the things na indication na uh, this controller, itong class na to is uh, a spring boot controller, is lalagyan mo siya ng annotation na uh, rest controller yan which is under yan doon sa spring framework yan okay so lalagyan natin ito so, let's say lagyan natin ng method na let's say string ang return niya let's say about about app example yan okay which is mag return na message about the app so return string pa return natin siya this program or api is all about all about game scoring system yan, so pwede na yan so meron natin yung method but we have to uh, annotate it as well so lagyan natin siya annotation para masabihin natin na 
Okay, this is uh, coming from get. So, lagyan natin ng get mapping. So, para malagyan natin ng path. Uh, para ma-access siya sa, uh, sa client side, sa browser o sa kahit anong mga uh, client natin na pwede gamitin. Okay? So, get lang ang gamitin natin. Yan. So, uh, with this, uh, enough na to para tumakbo yung application natin. So, patakbuhin natin. Just uh, hit the play button. Yan. Tapos, mag-play na yan. Yes, kanya kung ano yung target mo, which is yung entry point natin. That is one. So, pang magla-launch na yan, magkikita mo yan dun sa, dito sa terminal, lalabas siya. So, ipa-full screen lang natin ito para magkita yung output niya. Yan. Okay. So, magkita mo dyan. O, Spring Boot is uh, nag-start na siya. Okay. Yan. So, when, pag tumatakbo na siya, para ma-test mo siya, uh, you can access with with your uh, client. No? Depende on gusto mong uh, gamitin ng client, pwede ka mag-CURL para ma-access mo yung server mo. Or you can use uh, just a uh, browser lang. So, open natin yung browser. Mag-open tayo ng browser as client natin. Okay, you can see my browser now. So, access mo lang ang local host. Tapos, ETT ang ginagamit niya na port. Okay? So, type mo lang. Tapos, magkita mo dyan yung message na nilagyan natin. This API is all about game scoring system. Yan. So, that is how to create a Spring Boot project application. If you have questions or clarification, please let me know in the comment section below. And do not forget to click subscribe for more videos in the future. See you later.